Okay, assalamu alaikum everyone. Today I'm going to discuss one more case study relevant to AS level economics. And this is the recent most case study that is June 2021 up till now. And I believe you will benefit from this video. And uh, later on in upcoming videos, I will be explaining a few more case studies, but then I will be focusing mainly on section B of paper two. So you can see the case study on your screen right now. I suggest all of you to take screenshot or you can download this paper June 2021. This is variant two two. And otherwise, you can see this page on the screen right now. Just take screenshot of this picture, this page. And I'm moving slowly to the next page. You can stop the video and again take one more screenshot of this page. This is entire case study and section B as well, but I will be discussing only case study in this in this video lecture. Okay, so you all of you are advised to read this case study thoroughly and then move to the questions. But I'm directly moving to the questions. You can stop the video and read the uh, case study first. So I'm moving directly to the questions. Okay, so the question part A says, compare the change in, just a second. Okay, so compare the change in the price level in Myanmar with that of Cambodia between 2016 and 18. So what you have to do, you have to compare the prices, right? So if I move back to the previous page, I can see the changes in basically consumer prices here. This is annual percentage change. So how to read this table? It is really, really important to uh, know okay, how to basically interpret the reading of this table. So this table says that Myanmar in 2016 prices rose by 6.8%. All of these values are in percentage. So examiner has not posted percentage sign here because he has mentioned it at the top. So prices rose by 6.8%. Uh, whenever the value is positive, it means prices are increasing and inflation rate is increasing. And this is the rate of increase. And in 2017, price level again rose, but by 4%. In 2018, it again rose, but 7.1%. So in uh, any year, it didn't fall, basically 2016 to 18. Prices in Myanmar are increasing, but rate of increase is definitely different. Then Cambodia, in Cambodia, prices increased by 3% in 2016, 2.9%, 2.8%, 2.5%. It means prices are increasing in Cambodia as well. But the rate of increase is lesser than the rate of increase in Myanmar. So what will be the answer while we are comparing the values of 2016 and 18? We will say that price level in Myanmar as well as Cambodia both rose as I say, aapko ek mark mil jayega. then what you have to do is for another one mark, you have to basically say that the price level rose with greater percentage in Myanmar as compared to Cambodia. So one mark is for mentioning that prices in both countries are rising. And one mark is for basically identifying that prices, price level in Myanmar is increasing faster than that of Cambodia. Okay, so... I will show you the answers at the end as well. Then op question number two, uh, part B is basically compare the current account balance of Myanmar with that of Cambodia in 2008. So you have to basically now talk about current account balance. So this table is relevant to current account balances, right? And you have to talk about only for one year, that is 2018. Examiner is asking about this year. So in Myanmar in 2018, current account balance is minus 2.0. Minus sign shows that it is in deficit, right? So it is deficit. And if we talk about Cambodia, it is again in deficit because uh, it is also negative. So you have to identify that both countries are in deficit, right? But you will have to say for one another mark, that Cambodia balance of payment deficit is greater than that of Myanmar. 
so for one mark you have to identify both have deficits and for one mark you have to identify that cambodia's deficit is greater than that of uh, myanmar okay so this is done two marks in the pocket now coming to option c explain any two policies any two policies means you are free to choose the policies that could improve the competitiveness of rice from myanmar and cambodia in eu market european union market may uh, now you have to basically know that what this technical term competitive rice mean competitive mean rice uh, should be available at relatively lower prices Che competitive mean cheaper or available at lower prices. So the requirement of question is: uh, you can stop the video, you can read this question carefully, and then you can uh, think what the question is asking, and then uh, see what I am explaining. So the two pol you have to identify two policies. What those policies must do? Those policies must make rice cheaper in the European Union market. The requirement is this. Okay, so how it can be done? Okay, so the one policy I'm identifying here is uh, subsidy makes rice or anything cheaper because subsidy is the financial help that is provided by the government to uh, increase the supply of a product and decrease the price of the product. So if you mention subsidy, then you will have to explain this how this subsidy will decrease the price and make. products competitive and then you will have to uh, and basically identify an other policy that can be the devaluation of currency if you devalue the currency if myanmar and cambodia basically devalue their currencies or these countries provide subsidy to the rice growers then uh, rice will be available in european union market at lower prices so uh, competitiveness will rise uh, you can keep this word competitiveness um as a cheaper cheaper product in a way that you may uh, relate it to the competitive pricing competitive pricing is basically when you charge price lower than the price charged by the competitors so this is basically uh, in economics we call it basically cheaper prices okay so when you devalue the currency what happens is price of export will fall and price of imports will rise so if myanmar and cambodia both devalue their currencies then their exports will become cheaper for the european union consumers okay so this is the explanation for part c and now moving to if you do this you will put four marks in your pocket and now moving to question number d and discuss two factors that will determine the extent of the impact of european union tariffs will have on the economies of myanmar and cambodia okay again stop the video read the question carefully and try to understand what question is asking then read uh, then again play it and listen to me what i'm saying uh, about the explanation so question is starting with this class so you have to identify two factors uh, that will determine the extent of impact not only impact but the extent of impact uh in fact the european union tariff will have on economies of myanmar so one thing is european union tariff what does this mean if european union is imposing tax or tariff on imports from these countries myanmar and cambodia then what will be the impact and what will be the extent of uh, uh that impact and what are the factors that basically affect that extent okay so the two factors you can basically explain here are one is price elasticity of demand for exports and the other one is uh, cross elasticity of demand so these are the two factors that will determine the extent uh, whenever examiner uses the term extent the responsiveness the imp uh, extent of impact such things basically show that you have to relate it to the price elasticity of demand any kind of elasticity of demand or maybe elasticity of supply in some cases so if uh, european union basically charges tariff on imports from myanmar and cambodia then what will happen imports from these countries will become expensive now it depends if the demand is elastic then what will happen in case of elastic demand 
a little rise in price of uh, price of imports from these countries little rise in price for imports from these countries will lead to greater decline in imports for uh, these uh, for rise from these countries if demand is elastic if demand is inelastic then situation will be quite opposite a change in price will lead to a smaller change in quantity demand okay so if price elasticity of demand from myanmar and cambodia is elastic then a little rise in price uh, due to imposition of tariff will lead to greater fall in imports coming into uh, basically uh, european union so it will affect cambodia and myanmar negatively because their exports will decline dramatically their export revenue may fall their industry may uh, suffer and employment and standard of living of the people there will may, may fall and secondly cross however if any the demand is inelastic then it will not have a uh, negative impact on these countries now coming to cross elasticity of demand cross elasticity of demand basically is the responsiveness of quantity demand of one product due to change in price of another product so here we can see that there are a lot of substitutes for rice that can be imported from many other countries so if cross elasticity of demand for the rice from multiple countries is elastic then a little rise in price of uh, rice from cambodia and myanmar will lead to greater decline in demand for these uh, demand of rice from these countries however if demand is inelastic then there will be a smaller change or the extent of change or impact will be lesser okay so at then you will have to give a conclusive statement that it depends upon the price elasticity of demand and sub cross elasticity of demand they are elastic if they are elastic impact will be greater and if they are inelastic the impact will be lesser now the last question discuss the view that uh, the european union should give tariff free access to the european union market uh, market to all producers of rice again stop the video and read the question carefully what the question is saying uh, here tariff free access mean k it is charging no tariff right if everyone is allowed to send their rice to european union market then it is tariff free because it is not charging any kind of tax or tariff on imports so what will be the impact so since it is discuss question you have to write point for and point against and then conclusive statement then uh, if it is basically allowing tariff free access to all producers then uh, within the european union consumers will benefit because they will be able to get variety of rice from multiple countries and as a result uh, they would be able to get them at lower prices as well so unki it, it may lead to better quality of life of these people and similarly if import importers are importing from multiple countries in larger quantity then it means they will need more workers for that as well so employment may also be on the other hand tariff free access to the other producers other countries into the european union will be against uh, the farmers within the european union because uh, case study may clearly bataya hua tha ki farmers are the declining or sunset industry uh in in european union agar aap tariff free access allow kar denge sab countries ko to sab countries jab european union mein apna rice bhejenge to european union ka jo apna sunset farmer hai sunset mean declining uh, farmer jo hai wo basically jo itna zyada efficient nahi hai low cost producer nahi hai achhi quality nahi banata uski bilkul damage ho jayegi uski jo market hai wo totally damage ho jayegi log shift kar jayenge apni demand ko imported rice ki taraf और यूरोपियन यूनियन के अंदर जो अपना फार्मर है उसके डैमेज होगा एम्प्लॉयमेंट भी अफेक्ट होगी सो अगर चाहे टैरिफ फ्री एक्सेस से काफी फायदे नजर आते हैं एट द एंड यू कैन गिव कंक्लूसिव स्टेटमेंट के काफी फायदे नजर आते हैं बट अगेन इट इज नेसेसरी टू प्रोटेक्ट लोकल फार्मर्स एज वेल सो टैरिफ फ्री एक्सेस जो है उसके अगेंस्ट जब आप बात करेंगे तो आप ये कंक्लूसिव स्टेटमेंट दे सकते हैं ओके सो नाउ आई एम शोइंग यू द आंसर फॉर दीज क्वेश्चन and you can just take screenshot you can get this book as well this is available easily in the market you can search it online as well the name of the book is complete uh, basically as level economics topical paper 2 by kamar bloch you can search it online as well this is available online as well okay or you can get it from the leading book stores of pakistan 
And you can see the answers on screen, just take screenshot and then read these answers carefully. And you must have basically taken screenshot of the previous questions and case study as well. Okay, so read it carefully. Uh, confusion clarity And this is it for this lesson and see you in the next class. Thank you.